fucking 200 <laughs> I have to blow the whistle for that 200 subs my friends Thank you very, very much for all of your support. I want to see a sub hype train, just a collective, all you guys that are in the chat, sub hype train right now, one time, baby. I just want to see that and take that in. We have one of the best sub ratios on Twitch, and this is a little replay review with Gabs on Zin Zhao. Guys, thank you so much for your support. Seriously. YouTube, what is up? It is Nisi. Um, that is fucking dope, man. Yeah, at 225 subs, I'll do another guide. This will be a good opportunity for YouTube, too. Tell me what you guys want to see, by the way, on YouTube um, once this video goes live. Is we're waiting for Zin Zhao to wait for some minions to spawn. What type of guide do you want to see? What the hell you guys want? There's definitely not enough sub-hype trains. I know that there's more of you in this fucking thank you. You better spam that shit. We're looking at Zin Zhao with a fucking trident. What's that dude's name? Poseidon, dude. What, we, got, we got gabs on Poseidon right now. Dude, awesome. Awesome. There we go. That's what I want to see in my chat, dude. So many trains. Vicarian, what's up, babe? So many trains. So many trains. So, um, we're going to be talking about Jungle Zin Zhao. This guy here, Gabs, is Diamond 5. Uh, so, <laughs> if you ever see him do anything really, really stupid, just think, man, I could be Diamond. That's what you should think. That's the right attitude to have, right? No, probably not. Uh, but seriously, though, this guy's Diamond 5. Wants to learn some stuff. Held my sub hostage and said, Hey, give me a little replay review. I'll sub. I, 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 we'll try it. I normally don't do that, by the way, but he was like the last one for a law replay review. So, <clears throat> without further ado, it's time for the Zin Zhao to hit him, to hit him up, dude. Starting... Uh, Golems and or Krugs. I don't know why we call them Krugs anymore. It's weird. Wow, Zinzao Jungle has great sustain. Oh, you use both your pots. That's part of it, too. Uh, looks like Mundo just, like, shits on Yasuo so hard that he first bloods Yasuo at level 2, which is just absolutely ridiculous. Uh, first thing I'm gonna tell you, don't back there. Go into top lane and kill this guy again. We're playing diamond, alright? Oh, you didn't even get pots? Got you, my bad. So, okay, check it out, dude. Um, you, you don't want to back here. Go top right now. This is an opportunity, uh, this is more a uh, meta opportunity for you, but you need to see it, okay? Um, Yasuo's lane is going to be pushing this way. Mundo just got the first blood. Currently, uh, Yasuo is on tilt. We can assume that any player that gets first blooded this early is on tilt. One more successful kill on this guy is going to send him over the edge. Um, I think by backing early, you're missing an opportunity. Yasuo really struggles versus lanes like, uh, Pantheon, Zin Zhao trying to think of another example of something that's very very easy cc uh rex is another one that's pretty easy to pull off um but you i feel like are missing you're backing with about you know 60 percent hp wukong's clear he he's not gonna he's not gonna be top before you here so you can just go into top lane wait till the lane pushes set up in the brush because you know he has no vision he just got back in the lane right so this is a reliably... Oh, no, 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 no. And I'm right there with you, Gabs. De Devourer is good. Um, this will get you there, though. This this has no... I mean, in in a vacuum, this is a fucking... This is a cash cow spot, in my opinion. So basically, he dies early. So you know when he comes back in the lane, there will be no vision here. There's just no way. He can't afford it. Because he stopped... The, the thing is, he had to start with, like, Dorn's Blade and a pot. And if he has a ward, he hasn't placed it yet, right? So ganking, ganking uh, Yasuo with red buff, Yasuo can't even fucking fight you. And Mundo's coming up. So even if it's close, you can just bait it towards Mundo and walk away. And then you buy, then you push out again, and then continue clearing. But this is a very exploitable spot that I think you need to, you need to see it. Um, I, I hammer home the concept of uh, Trashuo top. Um, and he... 
he feeds first blood right away. So just fucking make that guy want to quit. And then Mundo is just going to run him over because of it. Uh, because And he just burned teleport to get back in the lane. So I think you could have used that uh, and like springboarded the game, <clears throat> so to speak. I didn't see that you didn't start with any pots. That's my fault. And uh, looks like, yeah, if you were there, if you were there, um, you would have easy, easy counter gank here. Um, that would have been fucking clean as shit for you. But either way, uh, it works out. You're going to farm while that's happening. I think, <clears throat> I think too, uh, you know, in a spot where, wait, wait, don't take that trade. Sorry, my train of thought's everywhere right now. Um, don't take that trade. Don't just dive in, okay? Not unless you have any follow-up, which here you don't in this particular spot. Um, I will credit you this. Vega can very easily follow up with, like, a stun or something and ignite, but this, this uh, Oriana has barrier, okay? So, I don't really like that trade. You'll sustain back up in the jungle, though. So, it shouldn't be that bad. Um, I guess it's an okay attempt as long as you sustain back up in the jungle. But this is what scares me right here. Okay. So, that's actually a perfect representation. This is unfortunate. Alright? This is unfortunate, but more common than you might think. So, the reason why I say don't take that trade there is because on the off chance that you do happen to run into the jungler and spots like this... This is the type of shit that can happen. If you don't take that wonky trade where you're kind of relying on your mid laner to follow up, it was really close to turret to go for it. Um, but you're relying on your mid laner to follow up. This is the type of shit that can happen when you run into the jungler. Basically, as soon as you saw Wukong, best bet was to just turn and leave um, because he has red buff. And even though you're a level ahead, it's not going to be very pretty because of the damage. Now, if you hadn't taken this trade and just showed yourself and then walked around... Um, yeah, this would be easy money for you, but now you're at a really unfavorable spot because of it. And it's just kind of wonky, you know? He chases you down, and... You make a nice attempt to, to make it worth your while there. And Mundo tries! I mean, he's hitting them cleavers. But you also kind of put him in a rough spot, too, with this. Because he can't really do much here. If you didn't take that trade, then this whole fight would have gone your way. Because I, I personally feel like the Mundo is playing pretty well. Yeah, they, they gambled, or they outplayed the shit out of him there with that. So that kind of sucks. And hopefully your top later doesn't tilt off of that. So uh, my plan of action with the way that that just went would be to just either take ganks when they make sense up top or just farm for uh, devour probably <laughs> that's probably what i would be doing if i were in your shoes right now um we can look around the map mundo kills yasuo again i want to point that out kills him again golden golden opportunity to maybe camp that guy he's beating him he's basically beating him even though he's behind in lane And that spot there, you make the right call to back down. I thought maybe flanking around, but there's too many minions to do that. So we're looking at our mid now. Uh, Vagar has 69 farm. You don't have ult yet? Is that common? People don't take ult? I, I, I really want to know that. Um, because this, you could really easily chain uh, nice little combos with Vagar's stuns. I mean, Vagar's got that huge line of CC for you. And like there, you could just step in front of Oriana and just kick her back. I mean, it works out anyways. I'm just curious if that's common. Just you? <laughs> okay. Okay. If that's your style, that's your style. But there's some utility in having it. Too much mana, not enough damage. Fair enough. 
Uh, let's see. 100. Well, here's the thing, though, man. Is you're passing up on opportunities, like, with utility later. But if your plan is to just stay in the jungle and farm and you assume that no one's really going to be able to stop you, then that's fine, too, if that's your strategy. But I just want you to consider that if you're doing any sort of, like, skirmishes, that ult is really huge. Um, okay, here's a great spot for you, dude. So we have Mundo up top. You hear that they do dragon. Watch yourself here. You hear that they do dragon. This is what I like to call a power play opportunity right here. Okay, check it out. So we know Wukong's at dragon now, right? Beeline your ass right up to top and wait for the for their Yasuo to show up. Just go up there right now. While everyone's backing and returning to lanes and getting resituated, set up top right now. Okay? Oh my god, it's the hiss guy again. I can't handle all the hisses, dude. All the snake heads. But seriously, dragon gets taken. Go up here and set up for a dive on this guy. The only the reason I say it is because your top laner is winning. Every game is a jungler's opportunities that you either capitalize on or you miss. Okay? Yasuo top. Mundo's winning. Mundo has... Uh, you know, he has an edge over the Yasuo. We know that. Fucking dive the shit out of this guy. Just shit on him. Instead, you go down here and start farming or whatever. But that's a free kill right here. There's no... Nobody's gonna stop you. Jinx... Jinx and Morgana are gonna back. So if you go up in a straight line, by the time you're here, they're gonna be leaving base. So you have a nice little window where you can come in and dive this guy. Turret's low. And if, if you come in from here, you might be able to catch him. You don't know he's here, yes, but he has to return. That's my point. He has to return up here, and he's going to want to stop stop the push. So, walk up, counter jungle, you know, maybe take the maybe take the raptor, and then come straight up and set up for this. Because like I said, positionally you know where the enemy team is. And and I completely understand. You could still counter him here. Once like I said, once you hear that that dragon noise go off, that's a window of time that you know everyone has to reset. Look at Vega's position right now. Look at, um, you, you can't see these guys, but you know that the bot lane has to be there at least. And then mid's going to be showing up to defend mid. So this whole part of the map is open. So you come down, you take this, you take this, you gank this guy, then you back. And then you've made a trade for the objective. It's a standard, it's a standard spot, but it's not explained. It's not as obvious as like pushing a turret. Which is why jungle is so unique in this regard. You're making some smart trades and pokes though. I don't mind it. Vager's ult was literally 0.1 second away from being up on that Morgana. That's the only reason he didn't get it. And the Mundo flank. Very nice. I have no problem with this. I dig the... I dig your Mundo, man. You can't help but appreciate a good Mundo. You know? Holding it down. I'm, I'm going to be really impressed that you guys lose this, too. To be honest. Bane split pushing this whole time. Thanks, guys, very much for the follows, my friends. Uh, your team overstays in that spot. I mean, that's just fucking clear as day. They should never be staying with that big wave on the turret and everything. Oh, no. Dunked. Scripts. GG. So you got 14 on sated. Shoving top. Uh, you missed an opportunity for your uh, two stacks here. If we're going for sated, clear that first. You're not defending anything right away anyways. Dude, your Mundo is slaughtering. He's buying you a lot of time. Blue team's turret has been destroyed. Red team's 
Yeah, I was gonna say, you should be looking at this Yasuo like, I can solo this guy right now, because you most certainly can. Huh? Why are you letting him farm that? Kill him. What the fuck? Why aren't you killing him? No way, you didn't know. You fucking knew, didn't you? Holy shit! Holy shit! The vision, dude! What are the chances? Good lord! You want to talk about some fucking luck? Goodness gracious! He is literally like... In the in the butt crack of the vision there. Wow. That's that's actually impressive. That was a very lucky man, because he should be dead there. Um I can't believe he goes for that there. Verse you. In theory you can expect it, maybe. But yeah, I mean it's just so unfortunate. Uh just remember when a top laner is pushing down, uh, specifically Trindamir, Yasuo, Wukong, uh types like that. If they're pushing and they're about here on the map as a jungler, don't be afraid to uh, check this. Because they will. If he's pushing, if the wave's pushing to here, that means he thinks this is open. So, um, like I said, I know it's wildly unfortunate that you drop a ward there and didn't catch him at that spot. Uh, but just be aware that if he's in this position, you're you're Diamond 5, so this isn't like outrageous to, to put onto your mind here. So if you see him, if you see him around here, if I'm playing, for example, um, if I'm playing as like a Trindamir or something, I always go right here after, um, if I think I can get away with it. And he shouldn't think he can get away with it, but yeah, you just, that's really unfortunate. <laughs> Stupid. You get the kill anyways, so cool. There was no reason he should ever be there in a million years. <clears throat> I would definitely complete Devourer if I were you. Definitely defend the dragon if you can. It's a good flash. Jinx. Yasuo comes in. It's all well and good. Dodge the ult. I was gonna say, that dive in was suspect to me. Spots like that, um, just last hit him there. Like, so let me show you what I'm what I'm talking about. Wait, like you jump in so early, bait your bait your Vagar for a second, bait your vein for a second, use this guy's health. If he's going to run away anyways, if his goal in life is to run away anyways, bait him for a moment so that you actually get some use out of him and put Yasuo in a tricky spot. But just by jumping in right away, you're not using all that health that you can use. Because he never got stunned. No, he didn't get stunned. Watch it again. See, he never gets stunned there. And the other, the other logic is you're waiting, you're trying to get Vayne to close in. 
Yeah, your auto is kind of fucked there. I got it. Yeah, definitely, definitely bait your team a little bit more. When you're in those, like, I, I make that mistake, dude. I still make that mistake all the time. Um, basically, when you're playing any sort of bruiser types in those spots where it's like, oh, shit, you know, we're all low, it's generally better, like, if you have somebody with health, bait them for a moment. That's, like, it's almost counterintuitive because you want to help your team in spots like that, but... And those clutch situations where you, you really want to help participate in the kill and technically you need to or he's going to die. You want to use every little sliver of health that you can. So basically what I'm saying is you're baiting Vagar. Uh, you're using his health bar to get Yasuo's cooldowns. You're, you're trying to get him to use cooldowns and then you can manage the fight a little bit better. But you can't. if you jump in, you give him an opportunity to clean you up instead. Because I do technically think you need to help Vagar there for that to be clean. Or at least uh, just delay a second for Vayne to close space. Uh, let's look at you. You should have Devour by now. You do. There's absolutely nothing he can do. These trades are kind of even right now. Nothing you can do at the moment other than farm and clear wards, which you're doing. I'm looking around the map and see if there's anything that we can miss here. You should be challenging that Yasuo all day. Good. I like that you're pressuring him. Yeah, but don't... Yeah, that was... Do a quick search. A quick look. Okay? You got no flash. There's nothing there. Turn around. Any step beyond this point is just throwing yourself in a position where you could get countered. Okay? So look how far you go. There's nothing there. You're not going to catch him. And you're just zoning yourself in right now. Zoning yourself in. Yeah, the team, you basically set your team up in that spot, all right? Like I said, this is the higher, this is higher rated, so I'm a little bit harder on you. This chase does nothing for you. Look at it again. When he leaves, it's over. There's nothing there for you. Nothing. Your position, your team's position in this spot, you can't chase that far. That was the line. This was the line. You're over the line. I mean, you at least have a turret to disengage to if you're around here, maybe. But out here, there's nothing for you, dude. You're in a desert if you're out of position, if you're caught out of position. Um, and I know it seems like it's nitpicking you, but it's pretty obvious that the only thing that can come from walking this far up is bad. And as soon as Wukong shows up, you should have just fucking turned around. Yeah, and... The thing about their whole team being there, it's unfortunate, but it's not impossible. Um, there's multiple reasons that it can happen, okay? Uh, the first one is Jinx can't. Jinx feels like she can't be alone. That's, that's one of the bigger reasons. Jinx, Morgana, nobody wants to come down here. Like, nobody wants to be anywhere near this area of the map right now on the other team. Uh, nobody wants to get swagged on 2v1 by Vayne. No one wants to get 1v1 by Vayne. The only team, the only thing that your team can do right now is, or their, their team can do right now is to be together somewhere around here. Unless for some reason Jinx is just sitting here, but that's uh, like nine times out of 10. That's not the case. She's just sitting here. She's going to be looking for opportunities around the map while this wave is here. It, it really does more stem from the fact that Vayne's split pushing. So in the, in the spirit of buying your Vayne more time, because he, even though he's getting like shit on right now. Um, Vayne could still 1v1 that Jinx. Like, if Jinx gets out of line and comes down here, Vayne can just tumble out of the brush with the ult and kill him. So, Jinx is just trying to extend her lead somewhere else other than challenging this guy. And then you happen to chase a little too far, 
and that's what allows this little collapse. And as soon as Wukong shows up, should have just fucking dashed to a minion and left, dude. Not challenged. This poor gentle Mundo, dude. Awesome, Vicarian. That's dope. So, yeah, that was a, a kind of willy nilly chase. Once you saw him here, just back down and wait until you see everybody and then make your move. Uh, you probably would have saw them around here eventually or in mid and then you could have grouped up and, and probably picked a better fight That information that vision information is everything. Yeah, Vega's getting walloped So now what do you do? Um, currently your team's kind of behind Vayne's behind anyways Let's wait. Let's look at this spot Vager's dead. Your team gets caught here. This is a momentum situation. That's all it is. This is over. Don't even go in here, dude. Don't, don't do it. No. It's over. There's nothing for you. Nothing for you here. They isolated and destroyed your Thresh who was busy giggling and laughing in, in mid. You would have been better off. You would have been better off going to fucking uh, bottom lane than coming over here. I don't know. Maybe if they, it, maybe if these idiots are dumb enough to dive that deep, maybe. But it's over to me. They just if if Thresh doesn't get fucking raped before you get there if it looks like it's all right let me back it up to what my judgment call would have been so he hooks the guy right which is fine but then he goes in and does this shit and just gets fucking murdered in here so once he's gone like that and they've executed a really clean dive on him right there that's when it's pretty much over there's not much you're going to be doing uh the other side note is vega's still down so now it's 3v5, and it's that whole plus one rule. So currently, three people were on the... You had three teammates on the inner turret. Two, really. You were coming from the side. It's 5v2 on turret. They dive. Now it is 5v1 on turret with you coming behind turret. So now the plus one rule is completely gone out the window. If they had bought time and let Vega spawn up and then Vayne close that gap... Then it would have been a completely fine re-engage. But the minute that he gets picked... Yeah, you you were kind of a gentle Zinzao there. I don't know what happened. Your auto's bugged out or something. Um, but either way, going into this, is just never, it's never going to yield any positive expectation. The only reason why it's close is because of how far they chase this fucking Mundo like a bunch of idiots. Watch how far this Yasuo goes in here. I mean, it's just really silly. They chase Mundo all the way to the fucking base turret. If they just turned around on you, you were fucking dead. But they just tunneled so hard on Mundo. And then Bane spotting. So I think you could have waited until Vega pops up. And just kind of chill out and then maybe see if something opens up or go to bot lane and just start pushing because there's just nothing there for you what's he once they get isoed like that there's nothing there man yeah and now it's just kind of collapsing on itself again that whole situation was not your fault that was just you know your team gets isoed they make a really nice dive there's nothing there's nothing you could have done there to prevent that from happening i don't think in that spot now this was the pick that got you here though i want to be clear pushing up all willy-nilly like that was kind of random and and while it doesn't necessarily end the game for you every time when you make those chases 
Um, that time it cost you. I like fighting under tower because I'm really tanky. People are supposed to surprise how much I can do under tower. I mean, yeah. I I believe I believe that if if like I said, if Thresh or Vega, like Mundo and Vayne or Mundo Vega and you were on that turret, I believe you could have done more. But it was just an unfortunate timing uh, that didn't really work out for you. You get dragon. Let's back this up. You got the dragon coming. Your goal here is to disengage, get out. Yeah, no. So, um, let me show you your vision real quick. Look where Thresh is right now. This is a head counting issue. The correct move here is to disengage and get out. And I called this before it happens. Okay. So look. You see Yasuo on the top, right? There he is, top. You have vision of this. This is happening and you see it. You see Yasuo there. 4v5, you win the objective. Ping away and get out. You re-engage in. Instead of turning away. And yes. Yes. It would have been really nice to get that pick. It would have been really nice to get that pick. Um. But. You can't. You can't be wrong. That's the problem. Is if you go for that pick. And you're wrong. It's 4v5 and you lose. I know it sucks, and I know it's extremely close and disgusting that he gets out there, but that's that's a 4v5. And unless you obliterate that guy and remove him, there's even even a, there's even a chance, even if you kill him, that you still fucking lose because it's 4v5. So when you saw that stun, you should have been pinging out because, guys, 4v5 and we just won Dragon. So here it is. You go in. Disgusting wind wall, by the way. Absolutely disgusting wind wall. But even still, even if you magically kill that Yasuo, it wouldn't have mattered. You guys were still gonna lose that fight off of Jinx damage alone and the fact that your support's out of position. It's just, it is what it is. Holy fucking damage. Ooh. I mean, that's all there was to it. So, you know, in an ideal world, you pick that guy and then try to run away, or you just run away, which I think is better. Kappa. <laughs> Two and hips down. I think we all know how this one ends, my friends. You go to try to rush Baron. You might be able to get it. That'd be pretty dope. Oh, never mind me. Or Jake says no. Go fuck yourself. And yeah, you can't do Baron anymore. And I think that's a good part to stop. So, um, some decision making issues. I think you could have exploited the Yasuo lane more because once Mundo solo kills him, I'd be like up that guy's ass and be like, oh, you're a feeder. You're a feeder, Yasuo. You're one of those Yasuos that can't survive lane phase. That's where you would have made a lot of money. Um, additionally, over chasing in some spots, I think was a little, a little willy nilly. And uh, don't be afraid to cut your losses in spots like this. When people get picked, just cut your losses. When you win Dragon, cut your losses and try to find a better spot to fight. Um, 
sometimes making the discipline hold for a moment while you try to come up with someone throwing uh, is better than going into a 4v5 and just hoping. Uh, I always try to work off, like, fights. Basically, the difference between, like, Masters, Diamond, Challenger, all those lanes, it it's all comes down to players that accept shitty spots and just go throw up their hands and go well whatever happens happens or the players that go we won dragon it's 4v5 i'm leaving if they die i'm leaving fuck them i'm leaving this shit because all those little deaths that you inch that inch out of your zinzao you're fed right all those little deaths that you gave away like chasing this a little too long or uh you know, turning this or trying to turn this fight or coming in behind after the, the team gets picked off. Instead of letting fights reset and, and and engaging as a group, you guys never really got that. And as a result, because you never really got that opportunity to have a straight five on five, you never gave Thresh an opportunity to hook. Maybe Lantern somebody, maybe Alt nice, maybe Vager hits a nice pick, and then Vager stun into a, a Thresh hook, kills somebody before they can even do anything. So um, overall, I think you played pretty well, and I think you have a pretty good style in terms of, like, what you're trying to accomplish. But remember stuff like this. Remember, like, all right, if a dragon goes down, like, if, if I know, if I'm standing in mid and a dragon goes down, I know that everyone's backing, and I can just take this jungle, this jungle, and then dive somebody up here. Um, come up with clever ways to exploit spots as they're presented to you. Go, damn. Dragon's down. What can I do as a result of the dragon going down? What can I do as a result of Mundo getting a first blood on Yasuo level 2 and having to burn his teleport to get in the lane? Do you honestly think that if you regank this guy or were up in near top lane for that counter gank, the inevitable Wukong gank that was going to come, if you're up here and you execute that counter gank, you think Yasuo stands a chance? No. He tilts out, he rages, he quits, and then you win the game. All right. So I hope this was helpful for you, my man. Thanks for submitting this to me, Gabs. I really, really appreciate it. Um, great, great replay to show me. This was a diamond game, so it was pretty interesting to watch for my guys. And all you people on YouTube, we're at a hundred, or sorry, a hundred, double that, two hundred subs. We're beating boob streamers now. Um, so if you like this YouTube channel and the Twitch stream and all that stuff, consider stopping in sometime, chilling out. I do these law replay reviews pretty much every day that I get five new subs. So, um, yeah, come in and show your support and love, and I'll keep doing them. And... Tell me what you thought in the comments. Like, subscribe, all that bullshit. YouTube, social networking, Twitter, Twitter, Facebook, Twitter, Facebook. Peace, crackers. I'm out.